little by little, the old police station is starting to come down. This is what it looks like from Sky Witness 9. Maybe you've driven by on I-4. The holes are getting bigger in the size of the old OPD headquarters as the new property owner, the Orlando Magic, took its first biggest step towards building a long planned entertainment complex. Channel 9's Angela Jacobs got a closer look at the demolition work. And Angela, Magic officials told you they hope to complete this phase by late September. And Greg, they also told me that actual construction is still in the design phase, so they don't have a start date for that yet. But once it's complete, this entire block behind me will be filled with shopping and dining options that the concert goers tonight and also soccer fans we've been watching heading over to the game will be attracted to go to. But not just them. They hope to bring in visitors and business every day of the week. As the holes grew bigger in the old Orlando police headquarters, a future sports and entertainment complex inched closer to reality for the Orlando Magic. On the other side of the fence, Jamie Bailey called it a welcome sight. I worked on on Church Street, so it's really cool because we'll be able to kind of go back and forth. While the date to start construction is still being worked out, the Magic told us it expects this stage to run through September. These are the renderings we've shown you of the $200 million investment project. A six-story office shopping and dining plaza complete with rooftop terrace and giant digital screens wrapping around the outside. A hotel is also in the plans to revitalize an entire city block. I think it would make the area look nicer too, you know. These tours from Hawaii are here to see Metallica. They like the idea of more options around the downtown venues. It'd be great, awesome, nice shady place, a casual place to hang out and wait. The Magic is following the steps of other NBA teams like the LA Lakers, who a decade ago transformed an area people once avoided into a destination they can't afford to miss. We don't get too much going on down here besides for games and stuff, so it'll be nice to bring people down to this side. Back out here live, this intensified entertainment district, as it's been called, is expected to bring hundreds of jobs and has also been compared to Universal's CityWalk. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.